हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द लास्ट सेशन ऑन लीनियर ग्रामर्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट द लेफ्ट लीनियर ग्रामर टू राइट लीनियर ग्रामर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो नाउ फ्रेंड्स इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द प्रोसीजर फॉर कन्वर्जन ऑफ एल एल जी टू आर एल जी इट इज एग्जैक्टली सेम एज वी सॉ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू समथिंग न्यू ओवर हियर द ओनली थिंग इज the first and the last step are swapped with each other however the procedure that we are going to follow is going to be exactly the same so it says convert the rlg to equivalent fa previously it was convert llg to equivalent fa the next is from the finite automata interchange the initial state and final state that remains the same reverse the direction on all the edges that to remains the same and construct rlg from this fa which was previously construct llg from this fa and what is the difference between rlg and llg when we are constructing it the only thing is variable will be replaced either to the rightmost or to the leftmost of the arrow that's it so actually speaking this is going to be a repetition or a revision of the previous procedure the only thing is we are going to work in the vice versa fashion so let's look at the problem so this is the question given to us and we are asked to get it converted into equivalent right linear grammar so let us draw the transition diagram i have states as s which is the start state i have c then i do have b a and for the final state i am taking a new state d so now s on 0 goes to c s on 0 goes to a s on 1 goes to b and a on 1 goes to a a on 0 goes to c a on 1 goes to b then we have a on 0 going to the final state lastly i have b on 1 goes to b and b on 1 goes to the final state then c on 0 goes to a so c on 0 is going to a so that completes my construction now we know the next step over here is from the fa interchange the initial state and final state after interchanging reverse the directions so let us do that so interchanging it i get a s over here and my d over here then i have my c in the same place a also in the same place and b also in the same place let me interchange the arrows that is the start state this zero is going to come over here a to c was a zero up and a zero down then this will be a s to this with a zero up this will be with one this will also be with one going down this will be with one and this goes up with one and the last one this goes over here with zero so that actually completes my diagram after this we can now write the grammar to be converted into the equivalent form so my step number 4 says construct the right linear grammar from this finite automata so let's do it as the final step so i'll write the productions over here now so let me utilize this space for writing the productions so i have to convert it into right linear grammar starting with s i say s on 0 goes to a s on 1 goes to b then i have a on 1 goes to a a on 0 goes to c and 
since that is the final state a on 0 therefore I write a single 0 over here then I write the transitions for B so for B I say B on 1 goes to B B on 1 goes to final state B on 1 also goes to A lastly for my C C on 0 goes to A C on 0 goes to the final state and C on 0 goes to D again we observe over here that my D is a non generating state and since D is a non generating state we have to remove all the productions that are including D so let's do that now so that means this production will be removed and the entire thing which is remaining after this will be called as the solution to this problem so with this friends we have completed the conversion from my left linear grammar to the right linear grammar i hope everyone has found this topic quite simple and frankly speaking it is actually one of the simplest topic in the automata theory so with this we conclude the topics of linear grammar in the immediate next session we are going to do a very important theorem called as arden's theorem so see you in the next session while learning the arden's theorem Thank you very much.